Hello, Alan here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to create service definitions and service groups. Defining and implementing service definitions and groups into your configuration maximizes security by providing complete control and logging of the traffic traversing the network. Services can be used in firewall policies to determine the types of traffic accepted or denied and logged by the XG firewall. To begin, we will first need to be logged in to the Sophos XG web admin. Once logged in, we'll select objects from our menu, followed by hosts and services from our submenu and services. The service page displays the list of all the default and custom services. Services are definitions of certain types of network traffic and combined information about a protocol such as TCP, ICMP, or UDP, as well as protocol related options such as port numbers. We will use services and service groups throughout our configuration to determine the types of traffic allowed or denied by the firewall. Certain well-known traffic types have been predefined here. These predefined services are defaults and cannot be edited or deleted. If you require service definitions that are different from the predefined services, we can add them here. Go ahead and click the Add button. In this example, we'll go ahead and create a couple of services for SQL that we'll use later. We'll start by giving it a name. Let's we'll call this one SQL. It's a UDP. our drop down here for our protocol to UDP and enter in our source port and destination port. Go ahead and select save where we can see that our service SQL UDP 1434 has been successfully added. Go ahead and create another one here. And again, just be sure that we're selecting the, the appropriate protocol, either TCP or UDP. Go ahead and put in our port here, followed by save. And you can just keep on adding more and more services as needed. Now what we can do with these services that we did create is we can create a service group. To do that, we'll just go ahead and come back down here to our objects, host and services, service group. Just come over here, select our add button, and we'll give it a name here called our SQL services. And we can also go ahead and enter in a description here so for our SQL database server. And we'll go ahead and add our services by selecting the add button here and we can do a search for those services. Just go ahead and add these. Followed by save. And that's it. You can see here that our service group SQL services has been successfully added. So now we can create services and service groups and use those in a firewall policies and throughout our configuration. Um, those will be demonstrated in separate videos. Thanks for watching.